Today we are trying to gain control of all permanents at once. Well, hello there, random person on the internet, and today we are hoping for opponents with a high tolerance for nonsense, because we're gonna try to… well, you've seen the title. Here are some cards that do vaguely the same thing. They're not in this deck, but you can get them at cardkingdom.com, your place to go for anything magic related. Check them out, link is in the description. And here we are. Game number one, we're on the play with a mulligan. Let's keep this one. Play a windswept teeth and pass the turn, see what our opponent is up to. Shocks in a breeding pool and passes. Oh god, I mean, crack the fetch. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we are, game number one. On the draw, opponent takes a mulligan, planes, and an Esper Sentinel that might actually draw some cards against us. Let's just play a stomping ground tapped and pass. Planes. Mishra's Bauble sacrifices it to look at the top card of our library and draw a card in the next upkeep. And a Samba is the stout hearted. When it enters, they return a permanent from their graveyard that was put in there this turn to their hand. Oh, that's actually pretty neat with the bobble. Replace it, cracks it to get another card draw trigger. Swings in for one with the Sentinel, passes the turn, and now in our upkeep, they draw two cards. That's pretty cool, actually. Let's just hope they don't have removal for this Lotus Cobra and uh, pass the turn. Planes. Swings for three, we take it. Frodo Determined Hero. When it enters our attacks, they can attach an equipment with mana value two or three to it. Okay. And a giver of runes. All right. I hope they didn't have removal for this Cobra and just didn't use it, because uh, here's where our deck gets a little disgusting. Whenever land enters the battlefield, the Cobra will add a mana of any color. So when we play this Windswept Teeth, we can add a green, play a Tireless Provisioner. Whenever land enters, we create a treasure or a food. And now, if we crack this Heath for a forest, we will create a treasure at a mana, just enough to cast this Cultivate. Oh, not enough mana to pay the one no, though. Search our library for two basics, put one on the battlefield, one in hand. That's a land entering the battlefield, so create a treasure, add a mana, use it to cast Grove Spiral, draw a card, put a land onto the battlefield, <laughs> treasure, mana, and finish the turn with Nissa Resurgent Animist. Very long text box, it also adds mana when we make land drops, and the second one each turn will basically draw us an element or elf from our library. And I'd say that was quite the turn three. Let's pass the turn, see if they can deal with this. Sword of Fire and Ice, well, that can kill one of our things, I guess. Give off runes on Frodo to give it protection from green. I guess no blocking here. Attacks, trigger attaches the sword, hits us for four, two damage to any target, and they draw a card. There goes our provisioner, and they pass the turn. Ooh, and we draw an agent of treachery. Oh, well, first let's play one of the sweetest cards I I've seen in a while. Doppelgang. For triple X, a blue and a green, we create X copies of X permanents. Now it needs a lot of mana, but if we play this land, we can add two mana up to eight so we can cast it for X equals two. Target the Cobra and the land. Yeah, 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 I'm not paying the one here. You can draw your card. So now we will create two more Cobras and two forests. Nissa sees the second land entering this turn. Get an Omnath. Oh, perfect. All the mana from the landfall triggers. Well, cast Omnath, another giant text box here. When it enters, we draw a card, and the first land that enters every turn will gain us four life, the second one will get us four mana, and the third one will dome our opponents for four. Enters the battlefield, draws a card, damn, we still got six mana left. Use three of it to cast Arc Druid's Charm. A lot of modes on this one. Let's search our library for a creature or land card, put it onto the battlefield if it's a land, and into our hand if it's a creature. And I think uh, we're just gonna get a land to cast the agent here. Field of the Dead enters the battlefield, Omnath gains 4, at 4 mana, just enough to cast Agent of Treachery. When it enters the battlefield, gain control of target permanent. We should probably take the Giver of Runes here, but let's yoink a land for the disrespect. Oh, they tap it in response, one white floating. Cloud Shift on Frodo. I guess we expertly played around this by stealing a land, but using it to basically untap Frodo seems a little questionable. Activates the Giver for protection, swings for 4. Sword hits. Our face. Well, I guess it wouldn't really help to kill one of the three Cobras. Down to nine, but we'll gain life every turn with Omnath here. Whoop. <laughs> Never mind. Angelic Ascension. Okay, Exile Omnath. We create an angel token. Lion Sash. And they pass. Ooh, that is uh, the best thing we could have drawn here. Play Otavara. Field of the Dead creates a zombie at 
4 mana up to 15 cast doppelgang for x equals 4. Target the Agent, Field of the Dead, Nissa and the Forest and we even have one mana left to pay for this Esper Sentinel and uh, <laughs> oh yeah, so Nissa is legendary so we can only keep one of them. All of these copies entered at once though, so all of these Nissas just saw four lands entering the battlefield resulting in a lot of triggers. Age of Treachery, Steal the Lion Sash, Give off Runes, Sam and the Sentinel. <laughs> Oh my god, 40 Field of the Dead triggers, uh, yeah this deck is gonna be a little hard to resolve. All of these Nissa and Cobra triggers will ask us to choose a color, so let's hope we don't time out here. All the Nissas got triggered for the second time, so we get some Omnas and Elves as well. And here we are, 46 mana in the pool. I guess we play these Omnas to see if we draw something good. That's a land. And another land. Let's just see if we can kill them. Use Lion Sash to exile all permanents from graveyards to pump it up as much as possible. Equip it to the angel, swing for... Oh, that is not lethal. <laughs> Opponent down to two. Pretty sure there's no coming back from this one though, because even if they wipe the board, we'll have all the mana and um, <clears throat> every one of these agents will draw three cards in our end step. So draw 15, discard down to seven, pass the turn. Planes, Delne. Oh, they didn't scoop yet. Passes the turn. Let's just be safe and try to kill them with the third Omnath trigger here. Play a fetch land. Trigger number one gains four life. Crack it to get a second land. Trigger number two gets mana. So let's find another land with this grow spiral. Okay, maybe with this explore. Okay, I guess this brainstorm ought to do it. Oh my god, we should have just attacked. Put two cards back on top, play a Golos, enters the battlefield, search our library for land. There's the third on that trigger, domes them for four and that is GG. Now you might have noticed that we play fetchlands today, so we need to play the timeless format. That means sometimes you just run into a turn one Ragavan or a dark ritual necropotence or show and tell into omniscience, masterminds acquisition for approach of the second sun, dig through time and the second approach to win the game and <laughs> There's nothing we can do about this. Anyway, here we are, next game on the play. Hand looks keepable, you tap that like button. You you did, right? Start off with a breeding pool tapped and pass the turn. Let's see what our opponent is up to. Cavern of Souls on Elves and an Elvish Mystic. Yeah, I go so far and uh, guess they're playing an Elf deck here. <laughs> Cast Explore, draw a card and get an extra land drop. Play a Triumph, pass the turn. I guess we're just gonna have to combo off before they ramp into the Crater Hoof. Fraley's Sky Shroud Artisan. Dirty, dirty alchemy. <laughs> Minus her to get an Elf and pass. Oh, and we draw another fetch land. Well, I guess we need one more turn to set up. Tireless Provisioner, Wooded Foothills, create a treasure, pass the turn. Blooming Marsh, so they are Golgari Elves. Realm Walker to play Elves from the top of their library. Taps the Elvish Mystic for mana, untaps it with Thraylees. Another Elvish Mystic. Whoa, is this guy wearing Brewer's Kitchen merch available now at our store? Plays the Lanova Elves from the top of their library and uh, yeah, they are sure doing Elf things over there. Too bad we are set up for another one of these insane turns here. Playing Omnath, enters the back of your draw card. Uh, I... I think we're infinite now. <laughs> Let's crack this fetch to get a forest, gain four, create a treasure, play windswept heath, add four mana and a treasure, crack the heath to fetch a forest, Omnath hits for four, another treasure, for eight mana, doppelgang x equals two, target Omnath and a forest. Now we do have to legend rule these copies, but both of these Omnaths just saw two lands enter the battlefield, so gain eight life at eight mana, two treasures from the Provisioner and draw two cards. Oh, and another Doppelgang. Yeah, we are pretty much infinite here. Cast Timeless Witness. When it enters the battlefield, return a card from our graveyard back to our hand. Get the Doppelgang. Cast it for X equals two again to get some more mana. Same targets, same triggers. Now we can start Doppelganging for X equals three and start copying the Witness as well, which will get back our Doppelgangs to just loop them for infinity. And uh, they scoop them up. Just like every other opponent that I tried to do this against, so uh, I'm sorry, we are not gonna see. Bonus game! Bonus game? I guess we're still trying to steal our permanents. We already got the agent. Start with a stomping grounds tapped. Opponent plays the planes. Ornithopter and an Esper Sentinel passes back. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> so since we're playing Timeless, we might as well play a copy of Channel in this deck. Um, let's play this Lotus Cobra and pass the turn for now. Land. 
Steal over here. Swing for one. Oh, wow. Okay, and we draw the doppelganger. Here we go. Play with Swept Teeth, add a green and cast channel. Until end of turn, we can generate colorless mana by paying life. Pay the one though, nah. Fetch a forest, add a blue and now since we have 17 life to spare, how about we cast Doppelgang for x equals 5? Target Lotus Cobra, a land, both of their lands and an Ornithopter in case we don't win and need blockers. Here we go, down to 4, <laughs> 90 Lotus Cobra trigger, cast Omnath, draw a card, Archmage's Charm. Oh my god, this is it, we're doing it. Use it to tutor up Timeless Witness, play it, get back the Doppelgang. Oh my god, cast the agent, steal the Overseer. Oh my god, here we go, now we can copy and steal everything for infinity. Want to see more of my content? Well, check out last episode where Seth and I battle slime versus humanity and rats and dragons. This video and more all in this playlist. Buy my merch, tap that like button, subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.